Hey guys, it's Lisa, and today we're going to talk about Mother's Day, Mother's Day gift ideas. Mother's Day this year is May 12th. I had to look it up this morning. I have never been a great big Mother's Day person. I know John was always really good about we would go out to eat with our kids, and I would do the Mother's Day thing, and then he would give me a little bit of time in the afternoons to go out. This is when my kids were small. So today I'm partnering with Ulta Beauty and I'm going to give you 20 gift ideas that I think would be fabulous for either yourself or your mom or your mother-in-law or any mom in your life for Mother's Day. So listed below, I will have them and I'm going to go through them here now. The first one, we're going to cover fragrances because I think a fragrance is a perfect gift. I think men, like if you're thinking of something to tell your husband to get you, I think men like to buy fragrances and I think it's good for them to, you know, smell them and everything if they want, you know. And I also think number one good gift idea is a gift card. You can put a gift card with any of these things, even like the little small items, and that will be fabulous. I really tried to think of some splurge items that maybe, like I know my mom wouldn't just go in there and get, maybe some things that you wouldn't even think about. So here we go. The first one is the new Alien Hypersense Eau de Parfum. Okay, I've always loved like the Alien perfumes. This one just sounded extra good. The top note is green mandarin and pear accord, so it's going to be a little bit fruity. The middle note is jasmine. I always love jasmine's sambac, and the base is cashmere. So I think this is going to be a good one. <laughs> I love the bottle, and there are a lot of people out there that really love all of these fragrances, and this is one that's going to last, and I think it could be a signature scent, and it could be one that lasts all year long. I also love the bottle. It's kind of like this purpley, kind of not iridescent, but just, um, you'll see, like a multicolor purple bottle that I think would look really pretty sitting on your dresser. It just looks exciting. Looks like something I might like to try. Okay, this next one is a Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrance which these are also really good fragrances. I don't know if you guys have been here long enough, but a couple of years ago, I really got heavy into fragrances and learning about all of them. And even the most, like, what am I trying to say? People with the most expensive and most, uh, I keep wanting to say exquisite, but even really, really um, fragrance connoisseurs, they always love John Paul Gaultier. Their fragrances really last. This one is the new one, and let's see what it's called. This one is Gaultier Divine Eau de Parfum. So let's read what the fragrance notes are. What got me right off the bat, it's a floral, sweet floral gourmand, but the top note is salty. Middle note is lily, and the base note is meringue. I usually like a fragrance that has a salty note to it. Like the, I don't even know if you can get it anymore, but the, okay, my Olympia. That's what I was thinking of. That saltiness along with a gourmand scent. I think you guys would really like that, and I am going to try it, and I'm going to go actually today to Ulta Beauty and look for some of these different things. Okay, number three would be the Flower Balm Tiger Lily Eau de Parfum. The perfect scent for the wild and fierce woman, a woman who roars in all her glory, fully embracing her sensual femininity. That's us! Okay, it's a floral, ambery, fruity. The first note is coconut milk. These are the key notes. Coconut milk, tiger lily, mango, and benzoin. Benzoin is one of those compounds that will be your base note. It's a larger molecule, and that is what is going to hold the other scents onto your skin. This one I smelled the other day, and it was fabulous. They were sold out. I think they've probably restocked by now, but I'm actually going to go to my other Ulta Beauty on the other side of town today and see what they have. Okay, Coco Mademoiselle Hair Perfume. I really like hair perfumes. If you are someone who just wants to dabble in a more sophisticated, more complicated scent, a hair perfume is a great way to go because it's usually lighter and I think in our hair is a great place to have perfume anyway. I know a lot of people will do that, but they say the typical fragrance, typical perfume is going to have too much alcohol for that. 
So I am curious about this Coco Mademoiselle hair perfume. Then I've also listed Coco Mademoiselle Lo Privé. Now this is one that I've had and I tell you guys about it all the time. They call it a nighttime scent and that is because it's the Coco Mademoiselle in a lighter form and to me it is just perfect because I've always liked, like if someone is wearing Coco Mademoiselle, it is one of the younger, more vibrant, yet classy and sexy Chanel fragrances, but sometimes it can be a little heavy. This is a way to get it in a little bit of a lighter form. Okay, Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder. The O Fresh, the old school Bronze Goddess. You have, if you have not tried that, you have to. It is the ultimate summer, sexy, just loving life fragrance to me. I mean, it is just like happiness and summer goodness and just makes you feel like, oh, you just want to wear a dress when you smell it. It is fabulous. And I think that would be a great gift for either yourself, your mom. It's ageless. I love it. So I had to put that on here. And then this is something I've been thinking of ordering. This is available only online. And that is the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle Bar Soap. I really have enjoyed having all of my like Chanel body gels and body oils and all of that kind of stuff. It's just one of those things that you do for yourself. And it's just a moment. I don't know about you, but when I go to get in the shower, I like have my heater on. I'll have a fresh drink. I might have a podcast I want to play. I really use that time for myself and kind of recharge. And I know a lot of you here are around my age. And like I always say, this is our time. This is our time. This is the era of life we've been waiting for. We have gone through the childhood and the teens, gone through the 20s, gone through the 30s, had our children, gone through the 40s, suffered through middle school probably, and now it's our time. So take those little moments and enjoy it. I get out of the shower. I have my body lotion. You know, I just really try to take that time and not just try to hurry through it and just use whatever soap John's got in there. I try to really make it special. Okay, now any type of Ulta Beauty favorites list or gift ideas would not be complete without some hair products. So here we go. This one is going to be a high dollar item, but I'm telling you guys, I am a hair dryer connoisseur. I have a shameful amount of hair dryers. I just gave my mom two of them the other day when she was here because there's quit on them. And I just, I love, I think it makes the biggest difference. No matter what one I get, I always come back to the Dyson. I just don't think you can go wrong. I feel like when my hair was at its longest, most luscious, healthy state, I was using the, the Dyson hair dryer every time. And I love the Dyson air wrap too. But I think if I had to say one thing that is a, you know, a spendy gift, the Dyson hair dryer, and it lasts for years and years. It doesn't, I mean, it's just so good. I can't say a negative thing about it. Another thing that I think is real good, and you guys know I always talk about the dry bar wrap party. That is always going to be my favorite wand. But there is a difference in a wand. You're going to get more curl up here. Like for instance, today I used the curling iron. And the one that the latest one I got, now I do love a good Babyliss curling iron. That is never, you're never going to go wrong with the blue and silver Babyliss. And I like the, I have two of them. I like the biggest one and then the next one down. And that is what I used yesterday. And these are, that this is second day hair. But this one is very unique. It's the Bioionic Long Barrel Curling Iron. Not only is the long barrel good for long hair, but you can also use this for a wand and just wrap your hair around the wand. And because it's so long, you have plenty of space. The clamp on this is so good and it's a very smooth you know, wand. It doesn't catch your hair at all. You know, the clamp isn't too tight. I have tried so many, like I, I can think of one right now, the T3. I want to like the T3 curling irons, but the clamp is too tight and I think you can loosen it, but it just shouldn't be that way. It should be right the way it is. And I love the Bionic. Every time I use it, I think, oh my gosh, this 
just glides through your hair. So all three of those, the dry bar, wrap party, the Babyliss curl and irons, and then this, these are the ones that I think are the best for your hair. Now don't forget to spray each piece with a heat protectant. I was talking to a hair expert the other day and I was asking her, how does she feel about, you know, people just putting something in their hair, you know, right out of the towel and calling it a heat protectant. And then they go and do all this stuff. She said, think about it like this. If you put something in your hair when it's towel dried and then you heat style or not even heat style, you blow dry your hair with heat, then those are canceled out. That product was there for that heat of the dryer, the hair dryer. But then if you're going to curl it or heaven forbid, straighten it, I don't think straightening's ever good for your hair, then you need another heat protectant. I'm very firm on that. And I, I just think you will not regret it. And it also gives you more hold if you'll do that. And I, underneath this curling iron, will list some of my all-time favorite heat protectants. And I think I have tried a lot of them. I like the ones that are a dry aerosol spray. Okay, the next thing is, okay, I was trying to think of like, I almost did gift baskets, but I thought, you know, you guys can put some of these things together and do gift baskets. I kind of wanted to give you more ideas than that. So I was thinking you could go get a really cool basket or a really cool bag or whatever, and you could make a little hair kit. And if I had to think of two shampoos and conditioners that I think every woman would love. This is one that I have used for years and I always go back to it. I always have it. And that is the Purology Hydrate. Now they have a really cute little try me kit. So you could take that kit and put it with a hair dryer or the Olivia Garden brush that I love so much. The wet brush, the paddle brush that I love so much. You could make a little kit. And I know my mom loves gifts like this. She loves little things that I have tried and I really like. So I am sharing that with you. You can tell them your friend Lisa loves this. She recommends it. And I think it's just a thoughtful gift. And I think all women just appreciate things like this. I went right over the Aki Wrap Hair Drying Towel. Now there's the one that I like that you twist it up and you put it in a little elastic. Those are more expensive, but I also have the old school kind that have a loop at the bottom. You twist it and then you put it around the thing. I would say if your hair is really long and thick, the ones that just tuck in the back are a little bit better, but I would say for most people, including myself, I just get one out and if it's one of those that has the loop, I'm gonna link down below, that works good for me too. And I was thinking what a great gift that would be with a hair towel and a little set of the shampoo and maybe a hairbrush or something like that would be a great gift. Okay, I'm so glad I didn't forget about that. Okay, another little shampoo and conditioner gift set. And this is just like a little giveaway of the things that I like since I've been healing my hair since I, we won't even go into that, but I've had a little hair escapade in the last few months. And I've really been trying all, and I mean all, from the highest end to, they've all, I haven't done drugstore, but all of the range of repair products. One, I can recommend to everyone. I've liked it since it came out. And that is the Redken Acidic Bonding Concentrate. And they have a travel kit. And I think even if your hair isn't damaged, if you color treat your hair, what this does is it brings your pH balance back to healthy hair. So it's not one that you've got to be afraid of with too much protein, too much of this, too, you know, rice water, you know, all this stuff that, you know, you I go over here and then someone scares me. I try this and then someone scares me. This is something I think is just solid. And I think anyone with blonde hair or color treated hair. And I know even gray hair has a different texture. Believe me, I got a head full of it. It's even more wiry and drier. So I really do think the Purology Hydrate would be something good for that too. Okay, now let's go on to some body. The Kiehl's Smoothing Oil to Foam Cleanser. I have not tried this, but I want to. I saw it, I, I have been just like scouring the Ulta Beauty website. And I really like those shower products and I can either use them on a loofah or sometimes like if I'm shaving my legs or something, sometimes I'll just put them right in my hands. But I love those products that start out like a oil and then go to a foam. Now I don't mean a foam like a shower gel, 
in a squeezy bottle or all that kind of stuff. This is more of a an oily, it does foam to a degree. I just don't want you to think it's going to foam like Mr. Bubbles. <laughs> it's a mild foam, but it helps you spread it. It emulsifies. Then I can like shave my legs or I go all over my body and it leaves that little bit of softness. And so I want to try the Kiehl's. And when I was reading the reviews on all of these, I always make sure I read the reviews in case there is something that is really standout, you know, that I don't want to recommend or I don't want to buy. This one had great reviews. There were a few people complaining that it wasn't um, bubbly, but I know what to expect. That's why I wanted to uh, share it with you. This is something I saw and it grabbed my attention for something you guys might like because you're always talking about sunscreens and things like that and tanners. Now my favorite face tanner is the Coco and Eve face spray. You guys, if you will use that at night and you can even use it over your skincare because I got really like tangled up in the details about that. I was like, oh, you know, freaked out about that. But I use it just like, I mean, my hair is still in a towel and I'll just give myself a few sprays. And in the morning, it is like I've been laying out for two to three days. Even John will notice. I'm bad about keeping up with it just because, just because I always know I'm going to put makeup on. But if you're someone that doesn't really need to wear makeup or you just want that little bit of glow on your face, it is fabulous. But I saw a new product they have, Coco and Eve Tan Boosting Anti-Aging Body Oil. SPF 20. That looks very interesting to me. So I wanted to call your attention to that in case you had a gift card and you're out shopping. And then I cannot ever do any body recommendations without recommending Osea. They have a bestseller set for face and body. And I just gave my mom, was it, I think it was last weekend. I gave her some of my Osea products that I had because I'm very fortunate and I get a lot of products from them in PR and she loves it. She loves the fragrance. She said she, her skin feels better already. I think, I mean, I wouldn't have even found out about this if you guys hadn't always told me about the body. I keep the body oil in my shower and sometimes I will turn off the shower, squeeze out my hair because you don't want that oil on your hands, put it up in a towel and that way your body has kind of, you're just kind of drip dry at that point. Then I get some of that body oil and smooth it all over. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And it smells like you're at the spa. The bad thing is every once in a while, you will get a weird pump bottle thing. I'm sure Ulta Beauty will be good at exchanging it for you. But what I do is when I get a good one, I save it just in case. That's the only complaint I've ever had with that. And then another body product I have tried, and I think this would be a great gift, and it's kind of bougie. All of these things are kind of bougie, but I like bougie stuff. It's the L'Occitane, the Almond Greatest Hits gift set. I have been using that stuff lately. It is so good. You will love it. And it has that kind of gourmand almond. It almost, I don't know, it might be, it might be like a, an illusion, like a sensory illusion, but it almost, when you feel it and smell it, it feels warm. And it might just be this, the way it smells. I'm very sensitive to things like that, as you can tell. Like when I smell a fragrance, I can tell you exactly what I'm going to be wearing, where I'm going to be going, how I'm going to feel. You know, I'm just kind of like that. Okay, makeup. I was trying to think of like things that just are tried and true. No matter what, I think you'll like, I use them all the time. And one of those is the Morphe and Ariel brush kit. You could either get the one for eyes or the one for face. I put down the 12 piece face and eye set. I believe it's under a hundred dollars. And you guys, I just love that little set. He has a blending brush in there that is like the perfect size. He has a really a blunt, like one of those flat brushes that's not, it's flat like this, but it's still thick enough to go over your liner. Just a really good, like pointed um, bronzer brush that doesn't cover too much. Just some really good brushes. I have washed them over and over and I love them. Also, the tips of them, they're, they're pretty good looking. And the tips of them go down in the jar. You know what I mean? They're not too blunt or anything like the real techniques. That's the thing I don't like about those. I have to be able to put them back in my jar. Okay, Too Faced Born This Way Mini Eyeshadow Palettes. I have on the Cool Tone today. The Warm Tone is pretty. 
it's just not for me. I've already given it to put my daughter. She likes more. It's It was more of that pinky warm tone, which I do like, but this one is hard to be. Every time I wear this eyeshadow, I love my makeup all day. I get compliments. You guys ask me what I'm wearing. I love Too Faced shadows, and these little palettes are, I think, $25. So, like, you could get the eye palette with you know, the eye set of brushes, and that would be a great gift. The, you know, I can't go without telling you again how much I love the Pearl Tarte Maracuja Lip. Love it. My mom loves it. Everyone, I, I don't think I've come across anyone yet that doesn't like it. I had one of you guys say you didn't like the kind of minty plumping, and I understand that. It does have a light minty plumping feeling, so keep that in mind. And then the, oh my gosh, you guys, this is a, an old school that I have rediscovered and it was a hello again lover moment. The Chanel Tint Idol Ultra Wear All Day Flawless Finish. I have it on today in the BD41. This was my go-to when I was all about the J-Lo Scott Barnes look. Remember when I would use, they don't even make it anymore and I miss it. It was the Urban Decay All Nighter concealer and then a I can't remember what I used to use I remember it was a contour or bronzing stick and then I would you know blend that all in with yet another great gift which would be the it cosmetics that double-ended brush not a person on earth could not I mean that brush everyone can use I don't care if you are 99 years old and you're putting some rouge on for church you can use that brush it is so good everyone needs that brush but I would blend everything in with that brush and then I would go in with a pump or two of the Chanel. Oh my gosh, so good. It is so good. It smells good. It's yummy. I kept, yesterday I was here at my desk and I have a mirror right there. And that's what I'll do when I'm testing out a foundation is I'll wear it all day and then I'll back up and look in the mirror and just see, did my sunglasses wear it off of my nose? Is it gone from my chin? You know, all the things that happen around three o'clock. And yesterday it just looked good all day. And I was like, I'm so excited. And I have one of you to thank because one of you asked me specifically about this foundation. And I was like, yeah, why haven't I tried that in a long time? And it's just fabulous. You will love it. And then the last one is the Clarins Limited Edition Lip Comfort oil in the bold colors. These will be good if you just want to put on a lip liner. If you want to put like the KVD Queen of Poisons aka Lolita lip liner on and then put like that cherry or one of these bold color lip oils on, they will mix just enough with that lip liner and give you the prettiest glossiest lip and they really condition your lips. And I think it's a great gift. I think that just coming in that pretty little box and the Clarins, I think Clarins is old school glamour. And I just think it's a great gift. All these I think are great gifts. And I really do try to be practical. Um, and like I said, I read the reviews and I think about all the different scenarios. Believe me, I have given my share of Mother's Day gifts. And I actually wore this little suit that is this blue color because my mother-in-law, who's no longer with us, this was her favorite color, is blue. So when I looked over and I was trying to decide what to wear, I saw this and I thought, this is in honor of Gladys. <laughs> we loved her very much. We still think about her all the time. Grandma. And I think that's it. So thank you guys so much for being here. I will list everything I have on down below in addition to all the things I just told you about. Thank you to Ulta Beauty for once again asking me to partner with them. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.